All right, here we go, traders, to watch this video for Thursday, May 14th, starting off with the daily chart of the SPY, as I always do. Um, another red day, basically down into some support now from the past uh, couple weeks. Um, I think the Dow was down over 500 points. In an ugly day in the market, I'm so proud of the chat room. We had so many good ideas in chat today. Did a great job of finding the stocks that were in play without having to short on an ugly day. Um, was just a huge day in the chat room. Uh, for those that didn't make it, I'm going to share with you a couple. Crex was one of them. And I'll show you what Crex looked like. There's the daily. So there's this huge move. Switching to five minute candles. I'm going to go to intraday and just show you the first time I called Crex. I believe it was over uh, 390. So you had this big pop and then it halted. Volatility halt opened here and looked like it was going to roll over. But then it puts in a lower high at 390. Looks like it's selling off again and holding up. Compare that or contrast that with yesterday when it ripped, halted, and then just trailed off the rest of the day. I was kind of gauging the excitement on this stock from Twitter to um, the news sounded really good. But what I really liked is, you know, you had the volatility halt today, like yesterday, and then uh, it opened higher like yesterday, but didn't come down that much. And then puts in a clean lower high at 390. You have yesterday's high at 420. And then if I pan, ah, I didn't mean to do that. Let me get this here. Um, then you had a high from, I don't know, maybe a week ago. I've got a pan way out here because I'm using five minute candles. Still haven't found it. There it is. Um, which was 4, uh, 436. All right. So we had a break of 390. Probably going to take out the high of day then. Catalyst above at 396, 420, and then 436. So you had big time stacked catalyst and a stock that was holding up really well this time. So anyway, called it over 390 and it just ripped through all those catalysts. I also called it long after it ripped or after it took out those catalysts on this first pullback. I know Wayne was on the microphone um, talking about something and I kind of jumped in over him and said, hey, I like this whole number flush. This was on the way back down. Let me switch to twos actually because it's a little bit easier to see if you haven't seen our pullback, buy zone pullback webinar. This was straight out of that. So this is what it looked like as it was coming down. I type into chat, Crex twos buy zone idea and then over the mic I said it's also a whole number flush. And look what it does. Flushes four and then off to the races and never looks back. I actually took a screenshot um, of that with the, uh, you know, showing that uh, some people got it. And uh, Jane missed the earlier call over 390, was out of the room and came back and nailed this right under four. And, and that was the low of the day. I love those pullback plays and I'm starting to see a lot of people in the chat room really like those as well. Um, and by the way, this is, uh, uh, as I go into the watch list, you'll see this is definitely one I'm going to watch uh, tomorrow. ALT, just another highlight from the chat room today, had that uh, opening range breakout call. Very, very simple, nothing tricky. Didn't mean to do that. Come on, slide over. There you go. So it looked like this. And here's yesterday's high. This was the opening five minute candle right here. Um, it pulls back. So I just called an opening range breakout over 383. Another one went really nicely. Um, I think Jane called a red to green and INO. Codex. And this was super clean. All right, look at, look at this setup. One of my favorite setups. It's a seller's fail scenario. There's the opening two minute candle, but I'm gonna pan out and show you why this was even more powerful. Codex has been really strong lately. So then it gaps up today. Sellers come in over the high of day. And this is what I said over the mic this morning. Codex over the high, I said you've got yesterday's high just above, so a possible break. In other words, a catalyst just above. Look what happens when Codex breaks the high. And man, this thing went nuts. There's, there's uh, five minute candles and here's the daily. So that thing just ripped all day, closed strong. We're also gonna watch that one tomorrow. But anyway, there's a few highlights from the room today. Um, I'm gonna go right into the watch list video, not because I babbled enough. INO gapped up a little bit, sold off, but then closed about where it opened. Kind of interesting over today's high. I don't really love the way that thing trades, but definitely worth watching. NNVC, after the gap up and fail yesterday, today it gaps down and closes right around the two-day high. That definitely goes on long watch. ONCS. Um, nice. Where in the heck did my volume candles go? Hang on. All right, got them back. So this is ONCS, had a nice pop today. 
um, decent volume and you know kind of a stacked catalyst scenario if we break today's high tomorrow over 222 maybe we, maybe we take out this 250 whatever high it was um, and uh, on five minute candles you can see this all came right near the end of the day so who knows if the if the news justified the move or not but we'll see tomorrow if it gives an a plus setup nvus um, another one kind of had a nice pop on big volume closing well off its highs though we definitely want to watch that one tomorrow rmbl i'm not a big fan of the penny stocks but I do like this chart. So you had a kind of a two day pop that topped out at 79 cents and nice volume today, kind of curling right back up um, and topped out at 61 cents. Certainly one to watch tomorrow. Riot, an old blockchain play, is actually holding up really well after the three day run here, a couple red days and curling right back up. Maybe through two tomorrow. Actually, have a, uh, if we open below today's high, which was 191, you've got a potential catalyst of 192. In other words, a break of today's high, hole number two, and then the high from the other day, 213. So Riot, very interesting. Codex, super extended, but we're gonna put it on a chart. Um, Crex, talked about this one already. Closed well off of its highs, but I do like the news and the space this is in. So we definitely wanna keep an eye on Crex. Mark, same space as Crex, by the way. Massive move here. Now we've got two red days. A uh, little bit lower volume today, certainly worth watching for a bounce play tomorrow. I like them better when they get back down to what we call the buy zone, but sometimes the stock is so strong that a couple red days, even above the moving averages, and you get a third day rip again. Um, so we'll, we'll see, right? Um, GNMK, this is sort of my sleeper pick, sympathy off of Codex. They also make COVID-19 tests, and Codex just ripped today. And this thing, look how strong this thing has been. Um, and then you had this nasty two days and it's kind of hanging out. Now you have two red days again, did touch the buy zone today. Um, so maybe a Codex Sympathy play tomorrow. That's kind of my thinking on that one. WTRH, another one that's been really strong and not quite to the buy zone, but we do have a couple red days, declining volume. Maybe it turns back up tomorrow. VUZI, very strong move. Two days lower, getting down into that buy zone. Goes on bounce watch. Couple more, IMUX popped in after hours. So here's the daily, closed at 1018. And after hours, um, I, this was up over 14. It uh, looks like it's at 1370 right now in after hours. So absolutely potential gap and go tomorrow. And then RVLV, another gapper, um, closed at 1464. And as I'm talking right now, it's at 1665 in after hours. So there's a couple gappers. We'll find other gappers in the pre-market to add to this list. There's plenty of good stuff to watch tomorrow. I think we're going to have a pretty good day. I'll see you in chat in the morning.